What are the defining things that make great salespeople? Yeah, John, we we could talk for several weeks about that, but <laughs> I'll, just, I'll give you the, the highlights. Okay, um, let's hear the highlights. You know, I, I think number one is you have to hire a good folks that genuinely are hungry, driven, have passion for the business, and really want to succeed. The thing that I love about the real estate brokerage business is it is a very pure form of meritocracy. You get out of it exactly what you put into it. So we start with really good raw materials and the the makeup of the folks that we brought in. And we always look, because real estate is such a competitive environment, we look for people who had that competitive spirit. And team sports was a great training ground for this because it's competitive. You learn to work with other people. This is very much a team sport also. So we looked for those characteristics that we thought would increase the probability of success for folks. And then what we did is we trained the heck out of them. You know, the old adage back in the 80s in real estate was, hey, kid, welcome on board. There's your desk. There's the phone. Go get them. And that was about the extent of it. But we had an initial success training program with about a 250 page training manual where people had to become a market expert in their geographic territory that they were responsible for. And they couldn't even talk to a potential client or make a phone call until they passed this several week training program. And then we had continual training where we had topic experts come in and give lectures about business ethics and salesmanship and persuasion and human behavior and psychology and likability and all these things that that increase the probability of success. And then when constantly training these folks, they got to become technically proficient. And then there's there's something that I think is incumbent upon every leader. And that is to make people feel good about themselves and build their self-esteem. It's said that the among the cruelest things you can do to someone is not give them any feedback at all, positive or negative. That's better to give negative feedback than no feedback. So I think a combination of all those things, realizing that people need training, they need to know what to do, they need to feel good about themselves. If you read almost every study that's been done on job satisfaction, the number one thing, everyone thinks, oh, it has to be money. Money is rarely, if ever, at the top. It's always feeling like what I'm doing is helping the company achieve its objectives. And if you don't let people know that they're doing that, they will have no idea. So they have to feel appreciated. They have to feel as if they're important. And so we really made a point to make sure that everybody was recognized for the contributions they were making, felt good about themselves. And when you make people feel good about themselves, they could achieve unbelievable things. And so we always said, do better than your best. Do better than your best. And if you feel really good about yourself and you get pumped up, you can do better than your best. And so that was a big part of the way we grew and ran that firm.